What's up everybody and welcome back. So I've been liking the Crypt Parva carpet so much I decided to fill in even more. Even with a carpet that says sparse is what I have in here right now, you can see just how much it can really transform the tank. You start to see little differences in the fish when you have more plants as well. There are certain areas where previously you may not see many fish hanging out at, especially the small fish. And I'm thinking it's because they don't have any cover. When there are no plants for them to feel safe under or around, I think they're probably a little more skittish. So more plants is probably almost always a good idea, especially since they also use up the extra nutrients in the water. So here's what the center of the tank looked like when I was done. In my opinion, it looks better already. I really don't think you could go wrong adding more green. The peacock gudgeons are doing well. I've seen the male and the female interacting in what may be breeding behavior. I'm not sure. Let me know down in the comments. But I haven't seen any more sparring between the two males. The guppies are just being guppies. They just eat food and have babies all day. At some point I'll be giving away a few of them to a friend and keeping some of the ones with the better color, males and females. Not much to report with the bamboo shrimp. They stick their head out every once in a while. I think they're mostly out at night. The same thing with the glow light Daniels. They seem to be happy. Not much to report there either, yet. The five stir by Corridor are doing well too. They are one of the fish I noticed hang out in the center of the tank a lot more now that the Crypt Parver is there and we started that carpet. The hill stream loaches are really cool to watch. When I first got them they hit a lot more but now they're not shy at all. Both the rainbow sharks, the black and the albino, are doing well and growing fast. The mono shrimp are the shrimp I see the most in the tank, not shy at all. They're usually going around picking at algae and leftover food. The orange really shrimp I'm still not seeing that many of, but the ones I do see seem to be doing well. It's crazy just how fast the dwarf aquarium lily can grow. It did get one of the lily pads all the way up to the surface and another one is already on the way. It does look really cool and I think I'm going to let the next few reach the surface as well. I got this funny clip feeding the tank the other day. A guppy came up and stole brine shrimp right out of the orange lily's mouth. But don't worry, he got himself a whole tube effects worm and scurried off to eat it in peace this time. is the bigger of the two. He can chase the albino around a little bit, especially when they're feeding, but I've never seen either of them actually hurt each other. This 
this is just another clip showing how fast that dwarf aquarium lily grows. The second lily pad made it to the surface in no time. Thank you for joining me for yet another week. Make sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. See you all next time.